Okay, so we are going to paint a really cool celebration snowman. And um, I hope you're ready for this. If you are in Paint Party Headquarters, and um, this is already um, inside Paint Party Headquarters, so you can grab it. We have everything, the tracers for you, just like this. So I'm going to have some fun. We're going to paint this really cool snowman. And um, let me know as you come on. I'm going to go ahead and pull up. Let's see. Let me pull up so I can see your comments. Also, if you are new to teaching paint parties, there should be something really cool in the description um, of this. So if you're new to paint, you know, teaching paint parties and you want to learn more, check out the description because I'll have something kind of neat in there for you. So please let me know. I have you pulled up right over here so I can see your comments. Please let me know if you have painted before, if you are brand new to teaching paint parties, if this is something you've been thinking of doing, but you're not really sure, just let me know. I'd love to chit chat with you. And also we got to talk about Dolly. Oh my gosh. Dolly Parton. I am so impressed. Let me know. Hey, Sandy, let me know if you saw the halftime show. We were so lucky. So my mother-in-law loves the Dallas Cowboys. And she talked us into getting tickets for the Dallas Cowboys. And I was honestly like, not really, not really like excited about going, but I was like, yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be, you know, a different, you know, type of Thanksgiving. Then, then they announced Dolly was going to be performing. And if you don't know yet, I am obsessed with Dolly Parton and all things Dolly Parton. So I was like here for Dolly. I am here for a Dolly concert, not really for the football game. And oh my gosh, she did not disappoint. Talk about being 77. And I would love to know from you what you hope to be doing when you're 77. Or maybe you already are 77 or past 77. But one of my big things is, is I always hope to be painting. Always hope to be creating. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Rebecca. Hello, hello. And if you're in Paint Pretty Headquarters, just do a hashtag PPHQ. You have this painting with the tracer already available for you to use if you're in Paint Party Headquarters. So I just wanted to get on here and, and tell you all a few stories and share this painting with you um, and just chit chat, chit chat about life and how you're doing and also paint and have some fun together. So I thought it was really cool to see her out there at 77, not only rocking it, but also sporting the Dallas Cowboy cheerleader outfit. Like y'all, I only hope that I have that kind of charisma slash bravery slash body slash everything at 77. Like, wow, I was just so, so impressed. So for those of you that haven't seen it yet, go check out Dolly Parton's halftime show. It was pretty spectacular. So very, very impressed. She never disappoints. And for those of you that are new to teaching paint parties, remember, this is all about just doing easy, fun, step-by-step -step paintings. It's nothing serious, okay? Nothing serious at all. We're just doing fun, easy, step-by-step -step paintings. So let me know if you are new to teaching paint parties or if you are been doing this a while. And I wanted to share yesterday, um, I got to share a little bit of my testimony at church. And I wanted to share it with y'all as I'm painting. So hopefully it'll help some of you. Um, maybe it will, maybe it won't. Um, if you like, if you like hearing stuff like this, make sure you comment so I know. And then for those of you that are brand new to teaching paint parties or maybe landed on this page, and um, after I paint this live, which I'm doing now. And um, I will have something kind of cool um, for you in the comments or in the, the top um, so you can grab it. So it'll kind of help you kind of like a free training. All right. So yesterday um, I spoke at my church and I was so, so nervous. So here's the thing. I have shared my kind of my testimony for, for a long time, you know, for, for a few years now, for several years now, I guess. And um, for some reason, I was just so nervous. You know, anytime I teach at a new place, whether it's paint parties or I speak at a new place, I always get nervous. Let me know if, if you're 
if you're like that too. Um, but yeah, I was just like, my hands were shaking um, new to teaching parties, but excited. Oh, that's awesome, Chelsea. Very excited for you. Teresa, I think this is adorable. Oh, I hope you like it. Yeah, I couldn't find the one I had painted already. Um, I was trying to find it and I couldn't find it because I was going to show you uh, like the finished product with this one while I painted it. But so sorry, I couldn't find it. So we're just going to we're just going to go for it again. But yeah, anyway, so I um, I got up there and, you know, I was just like shaking. I had to hold, you know, the microphone with both hands so it wouldn't shake. But anyway, I was just really cool to be able to share. And I was just praying, God, please, please let me say the right words and let me say the, the right thing that would hopefully help somebody. So I wanted to share with you real quick, if that's OK, just let me know with a yes, if you're OK with that. Um, a little bit about how how I got started teaching paint parties and how this all came about. So if you're okay with that, just put a yes or do an emoji or a heart or something like that. Alana says, hey, hi, dear. you still on cloud nine about seeing Dolly. I'm so happy that you and Pixie and your mother-in-law got to do it together. It's such a treasured memory. Oh my gosh. Yes. I am still on cloud nine for sure. Okay. Awesome. We got yes, yes, yes. Okay, good. And um, so, so basically, um, bankruptcy to business owner before the age of 30. So, um, so for those of you that don't know, um, we lost everything before I was 30. I'm 44 now. Um, we lost our house, our cars, all of that. And we didn't know at the time that lots of people were going through this, but we just thought it was us. And I started choosing art to heal. So I started painting these little mini surfboards. And um, I was a teacher at the time in Florida, and I had about 850 students. And I brought these little mini surfboards about this big to um, school with me to work on them during lunch and breaks, things like that. Well, you know, kids would see them and they'd go, Miss Easley, Miss Easley, can you, can you put my name on it? Miss Easley, oh my gosh, put my name on that. And I go, oh no, it's just, you know, something I'm doing, you know, using art to heal. Let me know if it feels like art heals to you, right? And so, um, so they kept asking and, and finally about after the 150th kid asked, I was like, oh, maybe this is a way I could get myself out of a bad situation, you know, a financial situation. And so um, if you've ever been to Pier Park, it's a really cool place in Panama City Beach. If you haven't been, you should go. Um, and it's this really cool place. And I called my mother-in-law and I was like, hey, I, I have this idea. Like, I think this might be able to help. And so she, um, she's like, okay, let's go see if we can do this. You know, I know, you know, you don't have money right now, so we'll do 50, 50. We'll, you know, do the upfront cost, all of that. So we head up to Pier Park and they end up agreeing to let us rent this basically 10 by 10 spot of concrete right in front of Starbucks to sell these surfboards. And I'm like, so excited. Like I got the whole family wrapped in, like we're all doing, um, you know, we're all, you know, sawing these surfboards and getting ready for me to paint them and sell them and thinking like, man, this is going to be great. Well, we set up and nobody, nobody is buying these surfboards. And I'm like, what the heck, you know? And I'm like, this isn't okay. I mean, this is my plan B, right? And then, um, and then my mother-in-law senses my frustration because what do you do when you've lost everything? You, you know, this is supposed to be your second chance you go to Buffalo Wild Wings and you have a drink at the bar. <laughs> That's what we did. So we walked across the street to Buffalo Wild Wings and I'm a drink in and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, what am I going to do? Nobody's buying my surfboards, you know, and then another drink in. This was my plan B. What am I going to do? Like, I don't have a plan C. I don't know what to do. Life is hard. Like everything in that moment just felt hard. Like everything felt impossible. Then my husband calls and everything changes. He calls and he says, Heidi, Heidi, get over here. And I'm like, what? And he's like, we have orders. I'm like, you're lying. He's like, no, get over here. We have orders. I was like, oh my gosh. So I, I look at my mother and she's like, go, go, go. So I, I head out and I, you know, if I'm honest, I tipsily walk across the street to where we were set up. And I look at my husband and he's got this whole handful of paper tickets. You know, at that time, we were um, doing paper tickets for orders and he's got this handful of paper tickets and he's like, get to painting, get to painting. And I remember like in that moment, I was flat on my face, done for thinking, 
this sucks. Like life is so hard. And then in an instant, it was like God scooped me up. And not only did he say it's going to be okay, but he said, you're going to be able to do what you love forever, which is paint. And I just smiled and happily painted and painted the whole night. We ended up, um, you know, I'm usually a person who takes a whole year to finish one painting. And I went on to paint over a thousand surfboards in less than two months because I knew that every single painting was going to help my family. And so I would paint, you know, till two or three in the morning, if that's what it took. I would, you know, if it was raining, I was painting in, you know, our car, like literally just anything I could do to, um, to make, you know, money for our family. So it was quite the experience, but what it's done is, you know, I, I had a much need to move back to Texas and it's a little bit harder to sell surfboards in North Dallas. So somebody one time asked me, you know, did you, and I'd already done a few of these in, in Florida and they said, Hey, could you do a paint party for, um, for some ladies at my, my church? And I was like, I was like, yeah, they actually had a, a clubhouse and they were going to, you know, bring some wine and we were going to just have a little paint night. And I was like, I happen to have a picture of a whole party I did. Um, a thousand, Cynthia, a thousand um, surfboards in just two months. And so, oh, 8,000. Oh, I couldn't have done that. <laughs> we ended up making just over 20 grand in just a couple of months. And it changed my whole outlook on on um, the possibilities and also um, the, the outlook on, um, you know, bankruptcy and how much it taught me. You know, a lot of times we we don't see that um, we don't see through all of the stuff that's happening because we're just so overwhelmed with what's going on. But now I see all the lessons learned. I see everything that, you know, I, I talk about my bankruptcy now and I smile, which is so weird. But um, it was just one of the best things that that have ever happened to me in such a weird way. And um, so we, you know, much need to move back to Texas, ended up ended up doing paint parties and paint parties kind of took over um, my teaching career. So now um, teaching paint parties just changed my life totally. And so when I when I talk to you about you teaching paint parties and how how much it can really help you, I, I tell you this from a place of not doing this, you know, several years ago, but actively still teaching paint parties today and actively still having my own paint parties to share with you because I think it's so, so important. So important. Yeah. And your arms would have fallen off at 8,000, but still a thousand is a lot. Yes, Cynthia. It was insane. It was totally insane. Um, but yeah, I think it just shows you like the, the, um, there's a couple of, you know, there's a lot of lessons in there, but I'm hopefully, you know, again, if you're brand new to me and you want to learn about teaching paint parties, I'll have a free gift for you in the description or somewhere on here you can link to you to just learn a little bit more about paint parties. But um, but one of the, the lessons too is, you know, I thought that, you know, a lot of times I talk about pivoting and, and doing the right, you know, things at the right time. And one of the things that I didn't realize until later was um, people are at the beach during the day, you know, so at night they're coming to to eat and to shop and all of that. So I was sitting here trying to sell surfboards during the day when everybody was at the beach. So have you ever had, you know, timing, just bad timing? Maybe you're trying to sell Christmas paintings and it's, you know, May, for example, um, you know, stuff like that. Like sometimes it can just be a timing thing. Um, so that was one of the big lessons I learned too, was, you know, timing, you know, don't expect a crowd during the day. It was going to be at night. And then that's when I knew all my sales. Sometimes we get 60 orders in a night. And so could I paint 60? Then I had to get fast. That was another thing that really, really taught me is, you know, a lot of times we think, well, if we're not already a skilled artist, we can't do this. First off, I hardly ever, ever paint at my paint parties. And if you're a paint party person, let me know if you, if you paint at your paint parties hardly ever do. I'll say the instruction, I'll say the step, and then I'll, I'll move on to help people. Another thing that um, I realized is that you can learn anything. You can learn to paint fast. That was one of the things, you know, being a very, very slow painter, 
I learned to paint fast. I also learned, and again, that's with doing a lot of lives and video with you as well, but I also learned that I could paint while I talk to customers, you know, I could, you know, start painting and then also ask them about their day, see how they're doing, if they were watching me paint live. Oh yeah, you can see some of my surfboards, Nikki. On my, um, let me grab one, but on my um, website, Texas Art and Soul, you can see um, a story. I actually have a story on the about page. Let me grab one for my attic real quick, hold on. Okay, I got him. Sorry about that. This is like, this is my very, very first business. It was called My Soul Is Yours. And this is one of the bigger surfboards. So um, we sold some of these, but these, we didn't sell as many as the smaller. But it was called My Soul Is Yours. And I had this out as kind of my, um, my little decoration thing and then this is kind of the size that we use so this is the one that we have reformed now that's the better one but you can see here and i would just kind of put tape down quickly put some flowers on it and then put people's names on it or whatever they wanted so um i still actually teach oops sorry that was loud i still actually teach um teach um paint parties with paint with surfboards today. So now my dad makes them for me, which is awesome. Um, let's see. At the paint parties, do you have the steps for students to see? Yes, that's the cool thing. So like, for example, we have this um, party for this one and I have all the steps, everything's ready to go. So I bring the steps for them. So they're ready to go. Um, just because I think, you know, the, the easier you can make it for people, the better. So again, if you've never taught paint parties before and you want to learn more about it, um, you can go to texasartandsoul.com and I have some resources there for you. Or um, once this live is done, once I finish this painting, I'll put a link at the top. So right now you're watching live, but if you're watching the replay, you can check the link at the top. Um, oh, thank you, Melissa. She says, the Happy New Year Snowman is adorable. Thank you so much. I love this painting. I love it so much. So I wanted to just, again, hopefully um, by me sharing a little bit of my crazy, embarrassing story um, of when I was so like, you know, again, I felt so much shame for so many years. And now it's been, um, you know, there is there is joy on the, the you know, the backside of bankruptcy, there is hope. There is still a financial um, future on the backside of bankruptcy. Um, I didn't feel um, that that was, you know, true when I was going through it. But then once I started that business and started realizing the potential, it, everything changed. So if you haven't thought about teaching paint parties, or maybe it's something you've kind of in your head have always kind of had some, you know, maybe you've thought about, definitely look into it. It is Again, one of the, the things that have totally changed me and my family's life. And I love how, um, you know, now that we've been doing this for 17 years um, and all the different pivots and all the different things we've gone through, I love being able to see, you know, my daughter the other day, we were riding back home from Fort Worth and she said, you know, I just don't think... I just don't think I'll ever have to worry about money. And I was like, well, why is that? Because you, you know, you got to make money. And she said, um, well, because I know I could always do a paint party if I'm in a bind. And I was like, yes, <laughs> that's what I love. I love hearing that she can do that. Cynthia says, I've taught a painting technique, but not paint parties. Oh, that's cool. So if you've taught painting techniques and paint parties are even simpler, because you're really, paint parties are not about teaching a hardcore painting. It's about keeping it very, very basic. And um, as you saw here, you know, I had a tracer for this and do it like that. Oh, Michelle, I wish I could use a small brush as good as you. I think I use too much pressure. And um, well, whenever you do it, just make sure you kind of go like sometimes, 
Sometimes, Michelle, I'll do this. Like if I'm trying to get this purple with this white, I might twist and pull it. But again, you know, just practicing. I promise you, um, as you practice, you're going to get better and better. And it's just part of, of practicing painting. And um, you'll get better and better. I know sometimes I have um, actually painted a little bit over here. The black I wasn't supposed to. Sometimes I'll have people say like, how do you do that so fast or whatever? It's, it's honestly just practicing a lot of practice, a lot of, um, but you don't have to be, that's the thing that's so great about paint parties is you don't have to be the best painter. You know, I've never, ever claimed to be the best painter, um, in the room and I, I never will be there. will just like, just like you, they'll never, you'll never be the best, right? There'll always be somebody better than us, somebody um, you know, more talented than us, somebody that can sing better than that. Like that's just life. Right. But if we, um, go at it as, you know, I don't have to be the best, but I can still, still provide for my family or still make some extra money, you know, something like that. I think that's one of the coolest things is just, you know, can I make some extra money, um, with, you know, doing something like this? That's what I really love to help inspire you with. Um, so, yes, yeah, so if you want some information about paint parties, make sure you check out. I'll put a link in the description for a free gift. Um, so you can kind of get to know a little bit about, or if you're interested in that, maybe put the word free, free gift, and then we'll come back and add it later. And if you're watching the replay, just go ahead and look at the description. It should be up at the top for you. All right, so I'm going to add this little bottle of wine here. It is about Prosecco time in my house. I love some Prosecco at the end of the night. Just have a little glass. Makes me feel like I'm celebrating. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, one good thing, you don't have to worry about blending. Just color book it. Definitely. Um, yeah, Pat, we have, um, so my dad cut some out. And we have um, Inside Paint Party Headquarters. We have um, access to his phone number, all of that. And um, if you're interested in buying some surfboards, um, I don't want to give his phone number out on my, my main YouTube and Texas Art and Soul page. Um, so, yeah, so I, I have that available Inside Paint Party um, Headquarters. So if you're, if you're in Paint Party Headquarters, you can get my dad's phone number there and order some surfboards. He has a, he has a good price. Um, let's see, Tammy. Hello, Heidi. Do we have to pay to have Tracer resized in it, the app that we download? No. So if you're in, um, if you're in Paint Party Headquarters, just do hashtag PPHQ. If you're in Paint Party Headquarters, you already have access to this Tracer right now. Um, so we have an 11 by 14, which is what I'm using right now. And we also have a 16 by 20. So you can just download it from our winter album and you can download it and then just um, print it in either of those sizes. Now, if you don't like either of those sizes, you can also Google um, block posters, blockposters.com. Um, I like to actually Google block posters when I put in blockposters.com for some reason it gets weird. But um, if you put blockposters.com, you can actually um, put it into a different size if you want. Okay, so we have the mittens. I think I've mixed. I'm trying to remember what I did. It's been a little while since I did this. Let's see. Can anyone get this tracer? Or is it just for PPHQ? And um, this is just for PPHQ, Karen. So this this tracer is only for PPHQ. And um, if you're not in PPHQ, it's okay. I just want to um you know, give you a free gift still. So I'll have a free gift up at the top after this live is done. Um, so yeah, this tracer is only for Paint Party Headquarters. And I just want to um, just encourage you, you know, even if you're not in Paint Party Headquarters to, to make sure that you are out there teaching paint parties. You know, you can come up with your own designs, but if you are a part of Paint Party Headquarters, we have everything for you. So you don't have to come up with stuff. It'll be ready to go. Oh, good, Tammy. Yeah, you can go ahead and grab it. It's in there. Oh, that's great, Kim. Loving it so far. That's awesome. Very cool. Okay, let's go ahead and add a few more details here. I need a little bit of black. 
it's going to go right here. That's the only tricky part when you're doing, you're kind of adding black on a black background. It's a little tricky. So just leave you some space here. And if you need to go to your liner brush, you can. So I might go to the smaller brush and just add it right here. So one of the questions I get asked a lot is people are wanting to do paint parties, but they get very, very nervous about doing a paint party or even booking their first paint party. And um, if that's you, let me know. I'd love to give you some encouragement. And um, one of the things I want to remind you of is when you're doing something new, you're always going to have that little fear inside that's totally normal. If you didn't have that, that would be abnormal. <laughs> so a lot of times people are like, oh, I want to do that, but I'm really, really scared. I promise you that is a very, very normal fear. And um, a lot of times I'll hear people say, well, I don't think I'm good enough. Well, remember, with paint parties, you don't have to paint the actual painting in front of them. So sometimes, sometimes I'll do just a little bit. I'll give the next step. But most of the time, I'm running around helping. So a painting that I'm going to do, you know, by myself in my art studio is going to look different than when I'm trying to teach it or run around and help 20 people at a paint party. So what I usually do is just um, instead of trying to finish a painting while helping people. Instead, I just made a choice that, wait, I'm going to give a step and then I'll walk around and help. Give a step and then walk around and help. And I think that has really, really helped me be a little bit calmer when I'm teaching a paint party, but also it helps my guests be calmer because they know I'm there to help them. I'm not trying to be the star student showing off what I can do um, at the paint party. So make sure that you're when you're teaching, you don't have to worry about being the star student. Just go help. I'm just taking a little bit of white and just kind of grabbing it so it blends it. It's a little blend, not a lot, just a little. It's a little blend. So if you ever get too much purple, you just kind of come on here and add a little bit more white. Just like that. All right. And so um, that's one of the things I want to just encourage you with is make sure you're not trying to be this perfect painter. Like you have to be the, the best painter in the world. One of the things, and um, yeah, Cynthia, that's a great question. Do you have a visual for the students to see? Yeah. And if y'all have any paint party questions, please feel free to ask. Um, yes, I do. So I'll always have like my sample painting and then I always bring um, a little picture like we have thumbnails. Um, ready to go. So I always bring this so that they constantly have the sample right there with them. So for example, for this one, oh, sorry, you can see here, I have the sample and I'll have that for everybody painting so they can see it up close. In the past, you know, again, I'm always learning and always growing, but in the past, I used to have people just take a photo of my, um, of my painting. And then um, what I noticed is people would like their phones would die or they're always having to like zoom in. And so now I just, you know, print. So I have them printed so that people can just have them at their, um, at their easel or at their spot. Another cool thing about that too, is that the better you can teach it, you know, and have the resources they need, um, the better their paintings are going to turn out. And when they leave your class and they feel successful and they feel like, oh my gosh, that was fun, but also like, look what I did. And they're going to want to come back, you know? And I think that's one of the, the best things about teaching a paint party is when you have these customers come back. Um, let's see. Tammy says, do you have any recommendations for a couple's night? I have a moonshine distillery asking me. Yes. Oh my gosh. So um, pretty much any painting um, you can make into like a double. So this, you know, for example, in Paint Party Headquarters, you could make part of this, you know, have maybe another snowman where um, this is, you know, the 
you know, one of the snowman here and then have another over here looking this way. So basically the same snowman, just the opposite way. Um, another cool thing that you could do, and I do this a lot with couples, is um, sunsets. Those are so easy to kind of match up together. Um, if you want it to be something Christmas, another thing too is sometimes just having painter's choice. I know that seems like such a simple, too basic answer, but honestly, it's so, sometimes we overthink things, right? Sometimes we think, oh, it's got to be this perfect, like, um, you know, exact painting that, you know, somebody can do half, the other person can do half, when really it's just about them coming together and painting that night. So sometimes I'll offer a painter's choice and then, um, and then, you know, they can pick and then maybe somebody will do a Christmas snowman and somebody will do like, for example, um, this is a painting I just finished this morning on a sleigh, a deer, for example. Um, so there's all kinds of kind of fun stuff that, that can happen and that you could do. Um, so I'm going to start adding some colors to this. And then if you're just now joining me, remember, uh, make sure you grab the free gift. If you're not a part of Paint Party Headquarters, um, I have a free gift for you. Paint Party Headquarters, don't worry, you already have access. So you don't need to grab it. Um, but if you're brand new and you're just curious about um, paint parties, make sure you grab that free gift. I'd love to just kind of help you get your first steps with teaching a paint party. It's very, very fun. And there's so, so much extra money you can make. It's a really great, great way if you're, especially if you're working full time and you're doing this on the side, it's such a great way to make some extra money. Michelle says, do you have suggestions for a fundraiser for an animal dog adoption? Oh my gosh, yes. Paint your pet. Paint your pet um, paintings are so much fun. Um, they, and there's all kinds of like little things you can do. You can, you know, get people's um, pictures of their pet. And then there's apps that you can turn their pet into kind of like a cartoon version. Um, and then that way they can... Um, you know, you can put it on a canvas for them and then you can walk them through painting it. There's lots of different ways you could do that. Another thing too, if you're trying to keep it simpler even, you could just have almost like a really cute dog bone or something like that. And then um, you could, you know, have their name on it, their dog's name, something just pretty simple. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be, you know, too, too big, especially if you're brand new to this. Because sometimes jumping right in to paint your pet can be can be a little bit more intense. <laughs> but if you're already crafty and you know your way around an app, then I say go for it. Okay, so I'm just outlining this a little bit. Then I'm going to start adding some other fun colors. Remember, if you're in Paint Party Headquarters, you already have access to this painting, to the tracer. You can go ahead and start using this um right now if you're not in paint party headquarters it's okay i have a free gift for you and um, once this live is over i'll link it up in the top so you can grab it and then um hopefully that free gift will help you start doing your own paint parties and hopefully inspire you to start doing your your own paint party okay i have a little bit of a, a little bit of too extra too much extra snow on this snowman right here all right <laughs> let me add some some little fun details so we have this kind of fun crystal blue hat i'm gonna add some perfect perry perfect perry in the hat here just so it has this fun celebration type feel i'm gonna add a little bit more pink i want so sometimes when I use this pink right here, the fuchsia pop, sometimes it needs a second coat. So it's a little bit translucent, but the color is so beautiful that it's worth the second coat or just put a little bit of white with it because I love the, the fuchsia pop. I love the way it pops. And I love that this turns into this beautiful um, kind of celebrating for the new year. So what are you celebrating? What are you excited about? Let's talk, let's talk about excitement here. I would love to know, do you have anything fun planned for this month or for the new year? I would love to know. 
Michelle, PPHQ, best thing I ever did when I joined. Oh, thank you so much. That's awesome. Yeah, um, we are just so excited. We have, so think about like for January or the new year. I know a lot of people do New Year's resolutions. I really don't do that. I don't really do New Year's resolutions. Um, I usually do maybe like, basically what I usually do is three main goals three main goals for like my business and then three main goals for my life for that year. So whether, you know, I love, love, love to travel. So whether it's something to do with traveling or whether it's something um, I really want to hit, you know, for my business goals, maybe it's like so many paint parties I want to teach that year. And um, whatever the goal is, I write it down on a giant, one of those giant um, poster boards um, and I put it on my wall. That way, anytime I get distracted, <laughs> anybody else get squirrel. <laughs> anytime I get distracted, I will um, look at that wall and remind myself what my main goals are for that year. So it's really important. I think it really helps. And let's see, Daphne says, if you're already a PPHQ member, can you paint this design or any of the other PPHQ designs and sell canvases to people? Yes. So Daphne, you are in Paint Party headquarters. So yes. You can paint this and then sell it and do it as a paint party or sell it as a, a canvas painting. That's totally fine. Um, I want you to make money with your paint party stuff. So I want you to make money doing that. Um, let's see. Oh, the tracer, Tammy, is in the winter albums inside Paint Party Headquarters. So this tracer is in the winter albums inside Paint Party Headquarters. Um. Cynthia says, you can do my job. I transport puppies on airplanes. I get to travel. Oh, what a fun, interesting job. Do they throw up a lot? I bet they would. I bet they would. Oh, yes, there is so much, Tammy. Yeah, don't be overwhelmed. I know it's a lot. This is going to be an air. I highly recommend um, all of you in Paint Party Headquarters. Put air on your bookmarks. That is like my favorite favorite thing to use. I use it all the time for my own paint parties. So make sure you have air on your bookmark. If you're not sure in the welcome video, you can, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. All right. So I'm going to add this here. So anybody have fun goals, fun goals for 2024. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We have so many fun goals, so many things. Pixie, as y'all know, my daughter is, um, or maybe you don't know if you're new to me, but um, my daughter is a senior, so she is graduating. I only have one one child, so um, it's kind of a it's kind of a big deal in the Easley household right now. So we've took senior pictures recently. Um, my husband was going to take him because he used to take all my photos so we went out there to take them then the camera didn't work oh yeah tammy air is way better than dropbox way better um my camera didn't work and so um so we took all her senior pictures her and her friends with our cell phone <laughs> so we got a bunch of great ones and so if they don't work i told her we we could hire um the photographer who does a lot of our photos but i was like See if these work. I think we did a good job on the cell phones. So cell phones these days, you can do a lot of good stuff on them. Um, let's see. Teresa said, I have been moving for two weeks. I'm wanting to get it finished so I can get my paint party started. Oh, that's awesome. Is this really alive? Curtis asked. Yes, Curtis, it is alive. Tammy says, I'm having a hard time with Dropbox. Yeah, don't use Dropbox. Use Air. Air is a system that we use, Jacqueline. Um, it's a system we use to um, give all of the painting tutorials, the step-by-step -step instructions, everything that we have for um, all the paintings inside Paint Party Headquarters, we have um, in a system called Air. So if you're new, if you're new to um, paint parties and you're not a part of Paint Party Headquarters, that's okay. Um, I wanted to give you a free gift. So after this live, I'll have, you could put free in the comments um, if you want us to 
come back and give you the link or if you're watching the replay which right now it's live but when you're watching the replay there will be a link in the top where you can learn more and I'd love to just give you a free gift so that you can learn oh my my Alexa started playing I have Christmas music oh my gosh cell phone you can do so much with the cell phone I honestly like I have my laptops and my desktops just because I'm you know always on them a lot however um I work on my cell phone a lot a lot our cell phones are pretty powerful Michelle says to reach out to 20 businesses each month is her goal and hope to schedule at least one party per week so far things are going great have two parties, have two next week. Oh my gosh, Michelle. Yay. Let's give her a round of applause. That's awesome. Um, oh, awesome. Yeah, Curtis, this is my first time. Um, I knew. Very cool. So if you've been wanting to learn how to teach paint parties, you have made it to the right page because that's all I talk about. <laughs> that and lots of stuff with Dolly Parton and life lessons. I also talk about God sometimes. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of different stuff, but mainly it all revolves around teaching paint parties. Um, Teresa says, Karen, I don't have a computer, but Bluetooth is wonderful if you have a Bluetooth printer. Oh, that's true. I forgot about that. That's so true. Yeah, sometimes I used to print like that, but now I just print from my, my desktop. Another thing too is um, people who don't have a computer, you can always like, you know, I know sometimes when I didn't have something, I would just go to the local library if I needed to use stuff for a computer. And then most of the stuff you can do on your cell phone. Isn't it crazy the world we live in now with cell phones and the stuff that they can do? All right, so I'm just adding some little more details here. I'm getting close to the, the end. And again, this is just a really fun one. I have my first party booked December 16th. She said approximately eight people, Tammy says. And now she's thinking there's going to be a few more. Oh, yay! Make sure, make sure you have prepays, okay? Make sure you have prepays. Um, let's see here. I'm going to outline this in pink. And I'm just using my pinky to kind of hold my steadiness. Oh, I got some Kelly Clarkson Christmas plan. That girl knows how to belt it, doesn't she? Just add a little pink here. I'm going to add a little bit more around this cheers. Oh, you're welcome. Prepaid, got it, good. <laughs> oh, wow, I haven't used the cell phone for the last five years, only desktop, computer, and iPad. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Oh, man, I couldn't, I couldn't go without my cell phone. I think I use it more for my business than, than even my computer. With posting and texting and messaging about parties, it's in constant use. Add some pink up here. We just want to kind of add these highlights, these fun, whimsical highlights. I'm just going to wipe a little bit of that off. Actually, I'm going to rinse it because I want it pure. And um, Michelle, I did not. You could start with a black canvas. You could. That's a great idea to start with black canvas and then just trace it with um, white carbon paper. But I didn't have white carbon paper or I probably do. I just couldn't find it. So I just used this. I just used the tracer um, and did it on a, a white canvas and painted it. Yeah, and this will be available for replay. So if you missed the beginning. And then anybody who is new, I just wanted to let you know, I am giving a free gift away that will help you with your paint parties. So um, if you're interested, just that I'm interested, something like that. Um, and hopefully this will help you kind of get introduced to, to paint parties, what it's about. 
why you should teach them, why, you know, this could help you with making extra money for a vacation or, you know, something fun you want to do, you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat with what you want to spend your money on. But I love teaching people how they can make extra money by doing paint parties. It's totally changed my life and my family's life. So I love teaching you how to do it too. And that the coolest feeling of being able to go, oh my gosh, I want to do this road trip with my family and I need an extra, you know, $800. What can I do? Oh, let me teach paint party. <laughs> that's how I can do it. <laughs> oh, good, Michelle. That's awesome. Very cool. Yeah, if you're interested, I know right now we are in the, we're live right now. So I, I don't have the link up there yet, but I will very shortly. So if you're interested, just put I'm interested. And then, um, you know, me or my team can come back and, and add the link in a little bit. Um, I'll add the link to the top right after this, but then we can go back and also um, try to respond to your comments too. So this part is so fun. I love, there's something about the pop of color this, oh, this color right here, it's called crystal blue. There's something about adding crystal blue on top of fuchsia pop that just makes me so happy. It just makes me so happy. It's like this fun, just contrast of brightness. I don't know. I just love it. <laughs> I don't know why I love it so much, but I do. It just makes me happy. Okay, let's grab a couple more colors here, and then we're going to add our swirls. We're getting there. We're almost there. I'm going to get some silver. And this is just a shimmering silver. And I'm going to make a tray right here. So this is going to be like our little tray with our champagne on it. And this is just basically a paint by number for the most part. Oh, awesome. Hey, Thomas. Good evening from Indiana. Watching for my art students and watching. Oh, that's awesome. I got here late. This is so cute. Love it. Thank you, Georgia. Yeah, and for those of you that are just joining, um, Anybody who's in Paint Party Headquarters, you already have access to the tracer and to the finished painting of the picture. So, um, so if you're wanting to use it to book it for um, maybe a new year, you know, New Year's party or even a um, a January party, something like that, like a you know celebratory type party, um, you can totally use this if you're inside Paint Party Headquarters. If you're not in Paint Party Headquarters, um, I wanted to give you a free gift. So um, once this live is over, I'll post the free gift in the description. Right now we're live, so I, I don't have it posted. But you can also put, I'm interested, and then we'll also go back and try to do that. Do you make your own brushes? No way. I do not make my own brushes. <laughs> that would be awesome, but no, I'm not that talented. <laughs> Oh, I need some more of that silver. So right in here, I'm going to just, I'm just going to cover the cheers. I'll go back and add it. And I had this in a 16 by 20, but it is somewhere in my attic space. I have three attic spaces that we store ceramics and stencils. And um, it's like this house was made for, for this business for sure. And um, so we store all of our stuff and I looked and looked and looked, my daughter looked, I could not find my 16 by 20 of this. So once I find it, I'll, I'll let y'all know, but I do have a picture I can, I can post of it. Oh, thank you. Is it Imelda? That's awesome. I love your name. Very pretty. All right. So we have that on there. Let me see if I need silver anywhere else. Silver, silver. Okay. It's a little bit more in here. All right, let's start adding some, some big swooshes. Okay, I'm gonna grab some of this white paint. And this is where I'm just gonna kind of have some fun. We're just gonna add in, let me get some more. 
Let me get some more white paint. I feel like we need a little more. And then we're going to add in all kinds of all kinds of fun stuff. Okay, so we're just going to start here. This is still drying, so let me skip over to here. So my trick with doing this stuff is just kind of, if you're nervous, you can always go to a paint pen or go to the smaller one and then just grab your paint and twist and pull. So you have a good point, twist and pull. And then I like to grab it and just kind of start to, kind of like riding a bike, like don't watch where you are, watch where you're going. So I'll use my pinky to kind of hold my space. And then I'm always watching where I'm going, not where I'm at. Okay, so here's another example. I'm going to grab it and twist and pull. So if you are nervous about this part of it, let me know in the comments if you are. It's okay. Take a deep breath. <laughs> if you're nervous about this part of it, you can always bring paint pens to your, your events and then have your customers just draw them with a paint pen. That's always an option. Hey, I'm almost done. Yeah, we're just, we're like, you want to say hi? Bobby's here. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't find my snowman painting. I don't know where it went. You haven't seen it, have you? No. Little sneaky snowman. Little sneaky snowman just got away from me, huh? I suppose. And um, when I'm done, you want to have dinner? Yeah, I'm almost done. Oh, Kim says hi, Bobby. Hello. <laughs> he says hi. I don't know if you could hear him. Oh, this size canvas is a um, 11 by 17. 11 by 17. So I'm going to take a one inch brush now and I'm just going to go like this, like this. And again, I'm just taking my paint, loading it up like this, like this. We're going to do something fun on it in just a second. Here, I'm going to do it a little bit smaller. Mm -mm. No, it's the celebration one. Yeah, thank you, though. He almost found it. Oh, thanks, Barbara. Yeah, let me know what y'all think of this one. I love this little guy. So this one, I'm just going to add some more little white chunks. Oh my gosh, if y'all have not listened to the Kelly Clarkson um, Christmas album yet, it is so fun to paint to. So if you haven't, I highly recommend like just getting out your paints, putting on some Kelly Clarkson Christmas and painting. It's really fun. And yeah, that's how we say it in Texas, painting. It's not painting, it's painting. <laughs> Oh, thank y'all. I'm glad you like it. Another fun thing I like to do is on the end of snowflakes, so you can put little hearts by putting a little V. So just a little V makes a little heart. A little V makes a heart. A little V makes a heart. Same thing down here. Little V's for hearts. I'm going to every other one. And if you're just now joining, we have been talking about all things paint parties. I'm just going to do all of them hearts because it's fun. So if you're new to me and you want to learn about how to make money teaching paint parties, um, we're live right now, but once it's not live, it'll be on replay. Um, there'll be a link for you to grab for a free gift. And if you're in Paint Party Headquarters, you don't need to grab it. You already have access to it. And we're just adding some white lines in here. See how it just 
little bits just help by adding in some fun little lines how it can make all the difference just by adding in some fun little lines here and there can change up the whole thing so if i feel like i got too much purple in her eyes i can always add a little bit more white to it and then of course on the little black buttons and the mouth we want to just add just little hints of white so basically everything kind of has a white highlight now on the bottle add just a little hint so basically when you're teaching this if you're in paint party headquarters you have rights to use this design and whenever you're doing this make sure you have um whenever you do this make sure that you have your white lines here you can always just keep adding them wherever you want and then whenever you're um, having your paint party people do this kind of just go around and help make sure they have them all on there so once i get the white lines where i want them then i'm going to just take the back of my brush and start to add in some snow this is real, real simple. It's just dot, dot, dot. And this you can kind of get crazy on. Sometimes I, I overdo it a little. I try not to, but it's hard not to because it is really fun. All right, let's get some champagne in there. So I'm going to use... Hey, BFF Candy. Hello. So I'm going to use this gold. It's a 24 karat gold. Extreme sheen. And I'm going to fill up the glasses with this. And if you don't have the extreme sheen, you could always just use that orangey color, the orange twist we used. Oh, good. This one is just so fun to paint. If you're brand new to Paint Party Headquarters and you haven't done your guinea pig party yet or your practice party, this is a fun one to do, you know, especially if you have a couple of your friends or family over, open up a glass, you know, open a glass, you know, a bottle of champagne or have a glass of wine or tea if you don't drink, whatever. And then you can, um, you know, celebrate. Talk about like, you know, what you're wanting to do, all of those fun things. I'm going to grab a little bit of black, add a little heart here. Again, I just do a V for that. Just a couple of lines to make it look like it's a bottle. A couple of lines in here. Anywhere I can just kind of add in some lines. And then we need to add cheers here in just a second. Ooh, it's coming together. Coming together. I know, right? I love these colors together too. They are so fun. If your snow didn't feel like it got enough down here, you can just kind of add on your snow. This is really the white canvas. I'm just kind of slowly going over it a little bit. Slowly just getting a little bit more on there. And then the last thing I wanted to add um, was the cheers. Oh, I did have a fun little, fun little um, purple right here. Helps make it pop. And then we're going to write cheers. Yes, Linda, I think so too. The teal does pop, doesn't it? It's really fun, isn't it? This is a fun one. So again, um, while I'm writing cheers here, I just want to remind you, if you are in Paint Party Headquarters, this is already available for you. Um, it's in the winter album. You can grab the tracer, which is here for anybody that's in Paint Party Headquarters. And you can already use this 
for your paint parties. Now, if you're not in paint party headquarters, it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. I have a free gift for you. Um, once this is, um, you can look up at the top, I'm trying to write cheers while talking. Hopefully I can fit it all. You can look up at the top of the description or somewhere around here. Oh man, I ran out of room. I'm gonna have to fit this R and S kind of small. Um, there we go. We got our, we got our S it's fitting. Yay. <laughs> um, so yes. Yeah, so if you're brand new and you're you know thinking, Oh, maybe this is something I want to do. Maybe I do want to teach paint parties, but you have no idea how to start. Um, you are in luck because that's all I do is talk about how to teach paint parties. <laughs> so you're in luck. If you want a free gift, um, I'd love to help you out. I'll have a link up at the top of this, or you can always go to texasartandsoul.com texasartandsoul.com and find out more information. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this and um, I hope that you start teaching paint parties and make some money doing it. So enjoy and I hope you have a great night. Let me know what you think in the comments.